What's going on guys? The full version of Madden 13 is finally out today, which means I can get my hands on Ultimate Team, which is about the only thing I haven't tried out in this new game. So here we are, getting the Madden Ultimate Team now on Madden 13. As you can see, the whole new interface, and it's looking a lot better. I like the look of it a lot more than Madden 12's, but when you come on to Madden 13 now in your Madden Ultimate Team, you can choose a captain that you want to center your team around. It's like a preseason version of a certain star player in the league, and the ratings are actually a lot lower. Specifically Specific ones are a lot lower than they are typically than for that person like Adrian Peterson I think his captain card ends up having like 82 speed so I went for someone who could actually have an impact on this team which is Patrick Willis he has like a low 80 speed and still very good ratings I would probably put him at an outside linebacker because I might get someone better than him to play in the middle linebacker spot because he's only an 85 overall of this preseason card or whatever so you can see here like always you get into Mad Ultimate Team and you get this really crappy pack with not very many good cards in it I got like Everson Griffin though and I got a couple cards that I would actually use in this team. Brandon Banks is a returner. I played with him in the demo a lot with the Redskins. And then thanks to the Madden Gridiron Club and all the EA Sports titles I've played in the past for football games. Although I have played NFL 2 and that one hasn't even showed up yet so I should get another reward pack. But you can see I've gotten a lot of rewards for being a returning customer of many EA games. And then I did so many things in Madden Ultimate Team and Madden 12 that that has also earned me a bunch of extra packs as well as 21 keepers, two legendary packs and so you can see here I have a bunch of stuff to open right off the bat now being a returning Madden Ultimate Team player which gives me a very very uh, I guess an advantage on the competition now and so I had to go it took me like 10 minutes just to open my keepers because it actually took a little bit to open up the pack so I got like Andrew Locke, Brandon Whedon, David Wilson, Michael Floyd uh, LaMichael James, I got 21 keepers, so I got a really good start on my team, including uh, Andrew Luck, of course, the quarterback. So now we're going into these reward packs, which aren't that great of packs, but I'm getting a couple of good players. Like I got Tim Jennings on here, Chris Cook, and the contract extension cards now is just 32 cards, and I haven't really experimented yet, but I think like every card is on the same scale like before. Certain contract cards will only apply so many games to certain players, like gold play players or silver players or legendary players. And I think that might have been changed this year, but I'm not 100% sure yet. I'm still figuring out all the new tweaks of the mode. And then I earned, I actually got another Andrew Luck card. So I, he does go into a collection. I'll show you guys later. But I also get Janoris Jenkins. And so I'm, I'm loaded with rookies right now. I got like 22 now. And you can see here, just going through the rest of these reward packs as fast as I can here. I get another contract card and a couple of nice cards here. I got the center Max Unger and just trying to build this team once again. It was a lot of fun last year in Madden 12 and I don't know why that David Nelson card has Stevie Johnson as the picture on it. Uh, I knew something was up as soon as I saw that picture and then I realized, wait a minute, that's Stevie Johnson's number. But, um, yeah, Madden 12 Ultimate Team was a lot of fun, but I just thought it was a little too easy, actually, to build the team. And off the bat here, of course, I'm going to have a good start because of a, me being a returning player in Ultimate Team and whatnot and getting all these packs off the bat. But I've, from what I've seen so far, getting coins this year is going to be a lot harder, and it's going to be a lot more focused on playing the game. Like, last year, I only played, I think I played, like, 50, 60 games total against like head-to-head -head players which didn't really net me that many coins it was really all about collecting and trying to just get those few collections done out of the way like the um, stadiums and the jerseys and the coaches which help propel you the rest of the way or it helped me propel me the rest of the way and so I think this year with the offline challenges and all that fun stuff there's gonna be a lot more to do and it's just going to be a lot more fun overall. So you can see I'm getting into these legendary packs now. And I got some good cards in the last one, including Mean Joe Green. And I'm not a big fan of the, of the legends in this game and Ultimate Team in general. But I think I'll actually use some this year and try to, you know, warm up to them a little bit. Because I really haven't been a big fan of them. But, you know, I'm uh, trying to make this team good once again. And so I'm going to use him. i use Derek Brooks. I, just, I think I get bored of the ones that are always skill position guys because they were so common last year. Like Walter Payton and Barry Sanders. So you can see here, I hope up a bunch of packs. It took me about a half hour actually to go ahead and switch stuff from my actives to my reserves because I had to keep going back and forth and sending guys or low rated guys my active roster and then taking high rated guys on my reserves roster and just trying to make everything into my full team. So you can see my roster I'm going to be rolling with here right off the bat. I'm probably going to start it off tomorrow making some more videos on Ultimate Team showing some of those solo challenges offline because from what I've seen so far I know Smalls loves it, Not As Fan loves it 
And although, like, it starts out on, like, rookie difficulty, I mean, it's going to be a lot of fun, actually, I think, just going through and playing some of those challenges and earning some more, some of those cards. And just, it's really hard to get coins, actually, this year. And the packs are worth a lot more money, and the collections are not going to help you. Like, the collections are not going to set you. You're going to have to keep playing the game, which is going to be awesome, I think, because it's going to make me play the game more, and it's going to make me enjoy it for a longer time. Like, I enjoyed my NL2 team for a long time, but once I became, like, a high-rated 99 overall team or whatever I was before I started dropping players and becoming a worse team on purpose, I really wasn't sure what else I wanted to do with a mode, but I think this year it's going to have a lot more longevity to it. And so this is the introduction episode, guys, to my Madden 13 Ultimate Team series, and I'm looking forward to kick this off. Well, I guess this is the kickoff here, the introduction, but you can see once again, best in the world now on Madden 13, and next up, guys, I'll have some games coming your way, so thank you guys for watching, subscribe if you're new to the channel, I'll see you guys next time.